Here are some cool ways to format your messages in WhatsApp. So I'm sure you'll know the common ones like making the text bold or italics. But here I'll show you those and some new ones like this. You can add a code block like this message here. Or if you want to write a quote, you can do that as well. And let's get straight into it. So the first one is to make your text italics. So to do this, it's really simple. You have to place an underscore on both sides of the text. So if I'm saying hello, I'll just put underscore then hello and underscore again. And as you can see, it's become italics. And if I send it, here we have formatted it. The second one is to make it bold. I'm sure most of you all know this, but for those that don't, you have to add an asterisk on either side of the text. So like this. And as you can see, it's now bold. The third one is strike through. This is if you want to cancel a text which you've sent. So for this, it's the tilde sign. You'll have to look for it. It may be in additional keyboard settings. It's this one here. So I'll just put it twice and again put the text in between. And as you can see, there's a line running through the text. The fourth one is a bulleted list and I find this really useful. So let's say I'm creating a list of things I have to buy. Then to add bullet points in the list, just put a hyphen, then a space. And as you can see, it's become a bullet point. And now I can just add the first item. Then if I press enter, as you can see, the next bullet point has automatically come. So I can keep adding to this list. So like this, we can format the list that we send. The next one is a numbered list. So the same way how we added a bullet point, we can add a number. So if you want a numbered list, just put a number, then a full stop and a space. And as you can see, it got indented. And now again, I can write. And if I press enter, it automatically created number two. And now I can keep adding on to this list. Now we're coming to the final two. So one of them is the quote. So this is really simple. You have to put an angle bracket like this one over here. So I found it on my keyboard in additional settings and then click on space. After that, just type in the quote you want. And as you can see, this line has come on the left like it's a quote and the font, the color, all of that has changed. And if I send it, you can see the difference with the other messages above. And the last one is the inline code. So this is the code block. And again, it's really simple. You have to just put a back tick on both sides of the text. So this is how a back tick looks. I've put two of them. Now I can just put the code. So I'll put the most generic one. As you can see, it's been sent like a block of code. So the fonts have changed. They've added a slight background behind it. So these are all of the different formatting options. And I hope this video helped you. And if you want to know how to read deleted messages, you can check out this video over here. That's it for today. Goodbye.